We are in Granny and Grandpa Nags's kitchen and we are going to be making some roti. So, how are you guys doing? You ready? We are great. We are dedicating this video to our grandchildren in hopes that they'll continue their culture of Trinidad. And I am the sous chef. I can do whatever she tells me to do and I do it wrong. <laughs> that is how it goes, and we have still come out with success. <laughs> so we're hoping for the best today. We're showing you what's happening. So here we go. Over here. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay, kids. Um, roti is pretty simple. You just use one cup of for every one cup of flour. You put one teaspoon of baking powder, a little pinch of salt, so I up a little bit with your fingers, put in a little bit of butter or margarine, about a tea rounded teaspoonful, and you mix that together. There we are, can you see that? Mm -hmm. Hopefully. Mix that together like that. And then once that's together, then we add water. Now water is approximate. So I've got about a little over half a cup of water here. Shouldn't take more than that. So you pour in a little at a time. Mix it in. There we are. A little bit more water. Now this is really important to get the dough just the right consistency. Now you see you have to be able to absorb all the flour into it. Well that's really nice. That's perfect. Mm -hmm. There we are. So we gather all the flour into it and then we knead it. So you just squeeze it and roll it around. Get it in nicely like that. It's looking too easy. Hey, it's nice and easy, you see? Yeah. Now it's nice and sticky now. Don't worry if it's a little sticky. You can take a little oil, put a little bit of oil on your fingers, so that helps it not stick to your fingers so much. But not too much oil, just a little bit of oil. And I think I'll put a little bit of oil into the bowl. Roll that around it, so this sort of coated very lightly with the oil and that's your dough ready to rest. Now we have to let it rest for at least half an hour. So put it to one side, and take a cloth, damp cloth, and cover it and leave it to rest. So we we'll put it over here. I should now, be going to rest too but uh, I'm going to help her. Okay, so now we have some dough that has rested. So I'll put that out on the mm -hmm. counter. And that was resting for half an hour about? That was resting for at least half an hour. It could be an hour, you know. You don't have to stick to the rules too definitely. Now, Are you missing a piece here? I will take the board, a little bit of flour on the board. Now we're getting into the floury part. And this is one cup of dough, one cup of flour. That should make three rotis. So let's cut it into three to start with. One, two, three. Now flour your hands. Take the dough. And this is what you do. Pinch and bring it to the middle. 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 Keep on like that till it's nice and smooth. Keep pinching. See how nice and smooth it is? Then you take a little flour and put it there and hide it and under I there. Pinch it, yeah. No pinching now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the next one we do. Pinch, pinch, pinch into the middle. Keep on pinching. There we are. Very nice. Hide it under there. The last one. Do the same thing. And it's all nicely pinched. A little bit of flour. 
and hide it under there. Now this has to rest again for at least another half an hour or mm -hmm. longer if you feel like. So I'm going to put that aside to rest. Now, you better get to your station because I'm going to be rolling now. Woo -hoo. So this is what we do when it's rested nicely. Put a nice bit of flour onto your counter. You have a rolling pin, you put a little flour onto the rolling pin. And you're all ready to go. So you had some already? So I had some that were resting. Mm -hmm. so this is one that was resting. So this is where you flatten it out with your hands. And don't be frightened to put flour. Put a good bit of flour because you don't want it to stick into the counter. And this is where we start to roll. Yes, if you want to go over while I'm rolling this one out and see Grandpa getting ready to cook. See, I do this, I have to kind of put a little oil on the uh, platine here for them to get. And then I get ready for flour. So if they don't have a platine, what can they use? They use a frying pan. Uh -huh. Like this. A nice uh -huh. heavy, it could be a non-stick one, would be great. Now you have to get it really hot. Show them what you do to make sure it's hot with a little bit of water. Yeah, take a little water. And put them in. Ooh, oh, yeah. Oh, you see, she's hot. Yep. So that's how you go. Sizzling. Let's go back to the rolling here. All right, so this is nicely rolled out now. You know, you try and keep it in a round, but if it looks like Trinidad, that's okay. <laughs> okay. So, put it on your hands. Nice you and see? thin, nice yeah. Nice and flour, nice and thin. Now I carry that over. Let me carry it over here and put it on the platine. Right. And then it's over to him to show you how to baste it. So I do a little basting here. Yeah. Tell them what's in the, the basting stuff. Well, you tell us, like, oil? It's oil and butter. butter. Or and he's doing the outside first. Yeah, the outside. And you have to be very careful with it because you have to make sure that you fill in because it starts to puff up as you might see it coming yep, up. Yeah, you see it puffing up. I see. Mm -hmm. And I make sure, and I can twiddle it around a little bit just to make sure that, because it's a small um, burner. burner. Yeah. So you have to make sure. So I spill it around, that looks good. Mm -hmm. So then I take it here and give them a little um, stuff there. Flip them over, you see. Mm. You've got some little blobs there, that's good too. Yeah. And then we give them. So we do another little wrap on this side here. This makes it nice and soft. Mm -hmm. Else it'll be just like a big stick of, don't know what. Cracker. Crackers. <laughs> then we go over again, one little one over. And there you are. You see how she puffs up? Mm -hmm. Very nice. Perfect. And then what I do is I flip this back here, pick him up, make sure she's looking good. And Valerie is going to bring another one. And then you cover it with the cloth so it keeps it warm. Yeah, it keeps it warm. And then I have and to wipe this off. And then I come with the next one. Oh, we try it being rolling while he was cooking that. Yeah. So it's good to have two people, so one's oh, rolling yeah. and one's cooking. And we do cooperation and coordination and consideration and all these um, communications and things. Mm. That's how we get moving, man. So think about that. So, so we just redo this all over again, and that's how you keep going. So again, the, the, the it's just one cup of flour and one teaspoon of baking powder. That will make three rotis. Mm -hmm. Now this is the recipe, so you can... Write this down. So it's this this makes how many? One dozen. One dozen. One dozen okay. roti. So four cups of flour, four teaspoons of baking powder, 
four teaspoons. Four te teaspoons of margarine or butter, and I just put salt. Probably one teaspoon if you like things a little salty, if you like it less salty, a little less. And of course you have, oh I, I didn't put that, um, water is two cups, hmm. approximately for that amount of flour, approximately two cups. So approximately half a cup of water to to get One it to that soft yes. kind of... And then the stuff that Grandpa is using is melted margarine and oil. Mmm, he's That's doing a good job. Cooking. And look at that. That's so perfect. And now, the best part of it all. We are going to take it on the table. Mmm. Eat Jenna. Lunch is ready. Come so and get we're... it. Some important things is to have you a little have come on. music in the background. And turn up the music a little bit. So you always have your little bit of either calypso or some sort of inspiring music to roll your rotis to. Throw a little light on the subject. Mm -hmm. And now we have some delicious curry already mm. So I'll put that on the table. You can curry chicken, or shrimp, or beef, a little potato, a little chickpeas, whatever you like in it, as long as it's got a curry. <laughs> and so you have this as a curry with lots of chickpeas and stuff. And then there's some things you could put in it, like kuchula, <laughs> and chutney, <laughs> and definitely extra hot sauce. A little, well, it should be pumpkin, but Trinidad pumpkin. We don't have Trinidad pumpkin here, so it's Canadian squash, which oh. is the nearest thing. So we put that there. And could you please have a seat? Oh, am I the okay. person? Have a seat there. Oh, thank you very much. This is for all, all right. the grandchildren, so you're the tester grandchild. Oh, tester grandchild. Okay, so. So I'm show us how you roll up uh, the curry yes, into the. Now you get one. <laughs> You get one, and you have to show them. Oh, let me get a spoon. Oh. Yeah, oh. I need a spoon. <laughs> there we are. Now, if you want, do you want to put a little tamarind sauce in yours first? Oh, no. yeah. All right. This is the best. Matooks. They better pay me for this advertising. <laughs> <laughs> So we put a little bit of matooks. And this is some real that. good Trini wife looking after her husband like this. Yes, oh. Doing it the right way. And then, do you want kuchula too, darling? This is kuchula. This is another Trini thing. Only got in Trinidad. Oh. Well, you can kind of buy kuchula in Barbados, but. Yes. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so there's the kuchula. And you would you like a little bit of the pumpkin um, and squash? A mm -hmm. blob of that. You can spread that on a little bit more. Yeah. The cameraman is drooling over here. Okay. <laughs> and now the curry. This one is shrimp and chickpeas and potato. But as I said, you can pretty really well curry anything. Oh. Mm. Now, will you please demonstrate how you wrap it up, Grandpa? Oh, <laughs> there you are, Jenna. <laughs> All right. Squash. Make one like that. One like this. Over like that. Curl up the little bottom. <laughs> Curl up the other bottom. And then bite it. And then you take him up here. And you go. Oh! <laughs> And you know the rule, Grandpa, if you drip any on your plate, you can't have seconds. Oh. <laughs> okay, that's it, folks. Yeah, oh, bye, thank everybody. you. <laughs> oh.